Greetings, lovely viewers. This is NLC Prime. Trust everyone is good. Today, we are going to sew a tashiki or kimo, kimono shirt. As we previously told you, that this entity deals in so many unique things. So today, we are going to cut out and sew a tashiki or kimono shirt. And this is the dimensions. These are the measurements for the shirt. This is the dimension for a two, between two to three years child, old boy. So this is the measurement for the sleeve. This is the sleeve. You know, with the dashiki shirt, you have to start the measurement from the middle of the arm to the middle of the of your back. So this one measurement, the nine and a half inches is for the front. The middle part and then we will give the back 10 inches we will we'll tell you why we we'll add the half to the back and this is the length 18 and this is the circumference of the arm 12 inches and the main body 29 with this with this type of shirt you're not supposed to sew it fitting they are supposed to make the the thing the breast loose for it to drip downward so stay to us will take the measurements and do the cutouts so this is the measurement of the nine and a half. Have you seen? As you can see. So this is the whole. Then the length, you know, as you can see. And okay. So after taking the measurement, you rule the lines to join it. To get an accurate straight line with your rule, when you finish, then you cut out. So, you're going to cut out the. We are going to measure, you know, you have to get the front and the back. So, the first cutout is for the front, and this is the back. So, we have the back, we are going to make the length 21. You know, the back is supposed to be a little bit longer than the front one. And. With the arm, we told you that we'll do it 10 inches, as you can see. So, it's 10. So, we are cutting out, as you can see, in a straight line. Okay. So, we've cut out. We put the front one on the back. And we will measure 2 inches here, as you can see. Then we we'll mark out one three quarter here, and when you mark, you take your rule, then you will mark. So this one will be cut out. You know this will apply the the shoulder, and this is for the neck. The one three quarters. So you cut it out. So this after we cut out, this is how it will look like. After that, we we'll take the top one. Take it back to that place, then we mark out, we measure half each. You can see half each. Yeah. Then we fold the top one until the half each. So this is how we are going to get this. As you can see. Okay. So at this stage, we are going to measure the body the main body and remember that our, our main body the measurement is 29 inches i'm going to divide it into four so into four we'll get seven and a half inch so we measure seven and a half inch inches on the fabric as you can see so we measure seven and a half inches on the fabric then we we'll rule a straight line to join the marks as you can see so after that, after that, you measure, you know, with the 12 inches with the circumference, you divide it into two. So we get six inches. So you mark six inches on the fabric for the arm. So as you can see, the six inches is here. So we are going to curve the line, you know, curve it in this way for the armpit, you know, the arm. As you can see. We are going to measure out the neck so we make the measurement is one three quarters by 
टू थ्री क्वेश्चन्स इन द वेरी डार्क सिकी नेक इज़ नॉट सपोज़ टू बी टाइ सपोज़ टू बी फ्री ऑन द नेक एस यू कैन सी सो यू कट आउट यू कट इट आउट सो एस यू कैन सी द मार्क नो आई गोइंग टू जॉइन इट बट नॉट इन अ स्ट्रेट लाइन आई गोइंग टू कर्व द लाइन यू नो टू गिव अस द नेक द राउंडनेस ऑफ द नेक एस यू कैन सी Take your time and do it neatly. So we are going to cut it out. In this, we will not start the cutting out from here, the top here. We are going to start the cutting out from inside the mat, the fabric. As you can see, that the fabric onto the line. How we get it? So we see, did it affect the fabric down there? It's only the top ones. At this stage, I'm going to I'm going to tell you the reason why we added the half inch to the back. Now we had the ten inch inches instead of the nine half. So as you can see, if we have cut the back nine and half inch and and we cut out our distance like this. At least you can see that uh, the material will short over here. Because when we, are, when we are doing the cutting, it will cut this one out. But because we added the, the half inch to it, you know, you you make the the material equal here. So when you fold it, as you can see, so the the waste material wouldn't affect our main body. But when we cut it out. After completing the whole shirt, it will be neatly sewn. So I'm going to measure nine three quarters inch to enable us to cut out the waste material. So I'm going to do the cutting. Okay, at this stage, we are going to cut out a plaquette for the shirt. This is nine inches long and face in front and back, says by five inches. So as you can see, we finish with today's lesson: the cutout of a dashiki shirt for a two between two to three year old child. So please continue to subscribe, like, and share our videos. And in our next video, we'll show you how to sew it out into a complete shirt. Stay blessed.